I'm looking for real people who want to make a difference by challenging convention, just like Mazda. Today I'm going to meet David Braben, a man with an aim to revolutionise computer programming. Well, thank you, David, for meeting me at the University of Cambridge. As the co-founder of uh, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, can you tell us what the Raspberry Pi is, please? The Raspberry Pi here is an extremely cost-engineered PC. $25 for a Model A, $35 for a Model B, and this is a Model B. $35. Many, many years ago, many of us were lucky enough to have um, computers like the BBC Micro, which were easy to program. That was great because it brought people into technology. ICT came in, um, which is Information and Communication Technology, which had changed the way it was taught in school. The programming had stopped. They were just using Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And so that had sort of taken the desire to go and study computer science at university away. Do you think that the Raspberry Pi is unconventional to other computers out there? Absolutely. I, I think there, there are a lot of things about it that are unconventional. A lot of um, devices like these things are, are locked down. And so what we wanted to do is create a computer which could be open. I think we all were thinking pretty unconventionally. What we were looking at is how to address a problem. A group of us came together with lots of sort of disparate skill sets and came up with an idea that actually worked for all of us. And I think that was great. It's the spirit of putting something back. Now, we're seeing the entrance rate into universities rise, and I hope Raspberry Pi has been part of that. Could you show me one in action? OK, fire up the monitor. It looks quite similar to a PC's desktop. It's a remarkably similar, you know, similar desktop experience. You can run programs on it in much the same way. You can see Scratch here, a programming lang language for kids. Uh, but also, the great thing about it is it's so small, it uses very little power, so you can run it on little AA batteries. Um, it's small enough that you can stick it on the top of a robot. Imagine a lump of blue tack, a camera attached with a bit of gaffer tape. That's fantastic. That, that then you've won. If you could sum up in a strap line or a sentence, a word of advice to those out there facing their own challenges, whatever they may be. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do it, because usually you can. I like it. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank pleasure you meeting very you. much, David. Thank very you for well. your time. Thank you. What's awesome about David is that he's genuinely passionate about making computer science as accessible as possible. If you'd like to meet more people with Challenge Convention, check out the rest of my real challenges.